Greetings, mortals. I am Q. Now, some of you have been excitedly looking forward to the second season of Star Trek Discovery, and some of you have not. Regardless, I have been required by the Q Continuum to watch the show that features such lesser beings due to some perceived infractions on my part. Therefore, I am going to share my observations with you insignificant mortals in hopes that it might bring a measure of enlightenment to your otherwise primitive brains. But I'm not going to hold my breath. So get your microscopic intellects ready, because here we go. Oh yes, let's remind ourselves of last season, no matter how painful. I'm still not sure why a mere commander is making this address to all of Starfleet. Oh yes, there we go, last season's fan service. You're getting the words wrong. Oh wait, I guess we're not doing that? I know, I was there. It was boring. Kind of like this. Oh my, Spark as a child would have made a wonderful cue. I smell the bullshit too. Oh my, that's some wonderful casting. I can already tell this guy's a prick. Oh yes, definitely a prick. It's too bad he's not wearing a red shirt. <laughs> that was juvenile of the writers. Bravo! Oh, I am liking this captain. He's not nearly as stuffy as Jean-Luc. Oh, sure. Get rid of one of the good characters. It's about time someone said that to her. More flashbacks? What am I watching? Arrow? Oh, the Klingons have no idea? <laughs> well, they're not known to be great thinkers. Years? That's rather imprecise for a Vulcan. Well, someone can't follow instructions. Are those cameras actually making shutter sounds? Were they made in Japan? Well, it didn't sound like it. Wait, is this Starfleet or the Power Rangers? I am liking this Saru. Oh, come on, don't kill the red shit. Be different. Ha! Goodbye, prick. That's what you get for not being Spock. Hmm. In case you hadn't noticed, Michael Burnham isn't good at following orders. We have him, right, ladies? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wait, these characters have personalities? We didn't see that last season. Nice timing on that helmet fix. Oh, good catch. Just, uh, keep it platonic. Well, that would have left a mark. Good thing she saved him. That would have been her third dead captain in a row. Well, 
Well, that's in rough shape. I wonder, do they have insurance? Oh yes, decapitation can be so inconvenient. Oh look, it's Frankenstein's lab in space. Evolution's a fickle bitch, am I right? Not that fickle. After all, it made humans. Remind me never to get stranded in enemies. Body's just a machine. And I read. Hear that, kids? You, kept all of these you should read more. The kids helped. It the transporters are up and we have no shield. Oops. Can't raise shields and use a transporter at the same time. Now this is the reason they have parkour classes. That scream didn't even sound human. What is this? Andorian angels? Oh no, wait. It's just Captain Pike. Are you alright? Yeah. Tilly to engineering, get me a gravity simulator and meet me in the shuttle bay now. Tilly is so commanding. She does remember she's no longer captain, right? Well, that wasn't a lot of warning. Looks like a safety violation there. Oh, Saru gets the chair. How nice. It won't last. And besides, they realize they should have done a Pike series to begin with. Hey now, keep it professional. Hold on, Burnham. Do you have a search warrant? Not the flashbacks again. Isn't that like reading someone's diary? After all, it's a personal log. Gee, what a shock. Spock's involved in the same thing. I thought they weren't doing that anymore. I thought Section 31 was all secret. But they have their own badges. So, primitive humans, I would say that this season opener was much better than the first. Pike has personality, and the crew seem to be developing their own too. Not a bad episode overall, but I still think they don't know what to do with Vulcans. Both Sarek and Spock from what we've seen in the previews emote more than any Vulcan I've seen outside of Pon Fa. And it does seem to me that they've bought in Captain Pike just to tie the series more tightly to the original. Or maybe they realize they should have just done a series of Pike 10 years before Kirk, and they're trying to fix their error. Of course, there is an issue with prequels and using characters such as Pike and Spock in them. You already know they're not going to die. Both of their fates are well known to most fans, and if you don't know, you can use that thing called Google to find out. Now, unless this is not the Prime Universe, as they've been insisting all along, the writers have limited themselves quite a bit with these characters. I will continue to watch this series as I am required to, but as long as I overlook some fundamental errors that they can't fix now, and their constant use of technology that looks beyond that of Jean-Luc's time, I might actually find it somewhat enjoyable. Until next time, mortals. Fandom, the final frontier. You can explore it with us by subscribing today and click the notification bell so you know when we post new videos. Here's some videos to explore now. Have fun and follow your fandom.